rocks up there, you'll be able to see your camp. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. You really saved our lives. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It is, too. Isn't there some way we can pay you back? Well, I'm kind of hungry. You think you could give me something to eat? Sure, but we'll have to wait till tonight when everybody's asleep. That's okay. I'll be by those big rocks we just passed. Okay. See you Thanks later. Thanks a lot. Are you sure you can find your way? I think so. It's so dark, I can't see where I'm going. Don't pull so hard, you're squashing the hot dogs. <laughs> Jimmy is. Just think how hungry the coyote is. <laughs> didn't think you'd come back. We promised, didn't we? Brought you some hot dogs. Seven of them may be a little bit squishy. I like them squishy. <laughs> Here's something else to eat. Flashlight? No. Inside. Beans. Hey, that's a great idea. Bobby. Cindy. What are you doing here? That's the same question I got for you. Who's he? This our friend, Jimmy Pacaya. We brought him some hot dogs. Look, I don't know what this thing is all about, but I do know one thing. You two better get back to camp before Dad wakes up and blows his top. Come on. Sure you don't want to come with us? Maybe Mom and Dad can help you. No, they just tell my grandfather. As soon as it's light, I'm moving on. Mommy, come on. Well, thanks a lot, Jimmy. See you sometime. Yeah, sometime. I don't care, Bobby. We should tell Mom and Dad about Jimmy. Well, we promised we wouldn't. We told you he saved our lives. Listen, did you think you might be saving his life by telling on him? Shh. Listen. 